Holiday Juneteenth has been a day of pride for the black community of Charlotte, celebrating their heritage and ancestral culture. Today, more than 200 showed up at the Park Church along Babies Ford Road to watch the documentary entitled Juneteenth, Faith and Freedom. Was what happened on June 19, 1865 in Texas, really the end of slavery in America? It's a documentary that attracted people from all backgrounds. The Joyce family showed up with their 17-year-old daughter. They wanted this to be a family affair. The parents tell me they didn't learn about Juneteenth when they were in school. There have been Juneteenth celebrations, but I really didn't understand the essence of what it was. This film enlightened them. It featured a conversation with the grandmother of Juneteenth, Opal Lee. She started the movement to make the day a federal holiday. We will keep celebrating, right? We keep honoring, keep educating ourselves, again, passing along that information. Julie Solander also showed up. I know a little bit about Juneteenth, but not a lot. And so I just wanted to come learn more. Still have a lot left to learn. Her takeaway? The more we learn, okay, what's, what is my responsibility? And what do I have left to walk away with? This was the first time the Park Church held something like this for Juneteenth. Leaders thought it was important to show the documentary Juneteenth Faith and Freedom in a church setting. Why? The enslaved used the church as a gathering place to pray for deliverance, no matter how long it would take. They held on to their hope. They held on to their faith. They believed that at some point in time they would be free so that faith and freedom actually came, came together and were combined. And so the church now can express the trueness of faith and freedom in Christ. June 19, 1865, somebody got freedom. Somebody's child got freedom. Host, writer, and producer Rasul Berry was present at the showing. He shared the film's purpose. To reflect on our past and also to see the progress, but also to see how we need to move forward and in what ways there are still challenges of injustice to overcome. It only took six months to complete this film. During that process, Barry learned something. One of the key things that uh, a Galvestonian historian told me uh, while we were doing this film was that the soldiers didn't come to inform, they came to enforce. And so this was really an opportunity for us to learn about the need to enforce freedom. But then after that, what happens next? Well, what's next for this church is to keep showing this film. Making it available, giving it, uh, the content to our kids and our younger generation and to continue to have the conversation in a healthy, meaningful way. Because this, this documentary was not uh, designed to be in spite or to create you know, strife or division or angst. It actually was a jubilee. It was really a message of hope and excitement and freedom. And it's a message the Joyce family will remember and repeat. They believe that's important. When people are saying one narrative, we got to be able to counteract it right with facts and data. And that's why we want to be able to continue to keep Juneteenth alive and well. Ah!